Did you happen to discover liens on your house or your property? These liens might sound like a death sentence for your property, doesn't it? But here's the good news. You can actually remove them. Yes, I said remove them. I'm going to show you how to take back control of your house and we're gonna do it step by step. So if you're ready to kick those liens to the curb, stick around and let's get right into it. Hey, I get it. Any kind of debt is a tough situation and especially those ugly liens. They can really make you feel trapped, especially when they are tied up together with your home. This could be unpaid taxes like income taxes or property taxes, contractor dispute, medical bills. These legal claims can block you from selling your house, refinancing your house, or even enjoying your own house. But don't worry because we're breaking down together to get those liens off your house for good. Let's quickly recap the type of liens before we actually dive into the how to remove them. You might be dealing with taxes from unpaid property taxes and mechanical liens because of a contractor issue or a judgment lien for unpaid debt like medical bills or credit cards and some liens are much worse than others. But they've all got one goddamn thing in common. They've got to go. If you're wondering which liens can actually force the sale of your house and put you in a foreclosure, I just did a video about who can put a lien on your house that I'll have it for you in the description down below. So you need to understand those details and learn more about it, please do watch it after this video. They don't just go away on their own. They can sit there for years accumulating and making your life harder every day you wait. They can even prevent you from selling your home and even foreclose on your home. So knowing your lien types is critical. Let's get into the first method is obvious. You just pay it off but you can do it smartly. I know it's easier said than done, but here's the key you need to negotiate. Creditors want their money, and because of that, in many cases, they are willing to settle for less than you owe, as long as they know that you're serious about paying them back. So when you get that payoff letter, don't just accept the full amount, get on that phone, negotiate, and see if they cut you a deal. It's possible to reduce what you owe by 30, 40, even 50% at times. I had a client who was hit with a $20,000 judgment lien. So we both got on the phone with the creditor and explained to the creditor their financial situation and basically told him, well, we can pay you $12,000 at the closing table or we keep the house and who knows, you may get paid one day you may not get paid ever. And they agreed. And that was like $8,000 that my client didn't have to pay. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, I don't really know how to negotiate. I'm scared to get on the phone with these creditors. I'm afraid to speak to them. Well, don't be, because here's some things you could do. Contact the creditor or the lien holder directly and ask for the department that handles the collections or maybe you even got a collector's letter already in the mail. So you can just call them right away, be honest about your situation, explain that you ready to pay a lower amount to make it possible because you cannot possibly pay the full amount and propose a settlement, offer a lower than what you actually can pay because leaving room for the negotiations is going to play a really crucial game here. Take it from me, I'm an excellent negotiator, so just trust me, ask for less, we'll offer you more, and most likely you will settle the number that you originally wanted to settle it. Sounds like a plan, right? And always get the settlement offer in writing before making any payments because you wanna make sure everything is documented. Now, what if you find a lien that isn't even legit? Believe it or not, this happens more often than you would think. Maybe the contractor didn't finish the work or there's a mistake in the amount that you owe. You actually have the right to dispute this. You can file a lien release request if you think it was placed in error. You might need to lawyer up, but if the debt is bogus, 
it's worth the fight. What I would ask for is proof that the money is owed. And of course, if I can't say this enough, always keep all invoices, all contracts, all payments, just in case you're going to have to deal with a bogus lien. So how would you dispute a lien? You would gather your evidence. It could be contracts, payments, records, photos of the work. And number two, you can contact the lien holder and inform them that you are disputing the claim. And number three, if they don't agree to remove the lien, file a formal dispute and in court. And number four, make sure you have a lawyer on board, especially if the lien is a large amount. And of course, any written communication that you had in regards to the situation like texts or email, print it out and never get rid of the paperwork. Okay, let's talk about how to negotiate a payment plan. Most likely you cannot pay all at once, right? So no problem. In many cases, lien holders are open to the idea to setting up a payment plan because they want their money just as much as you want your house free and clear. This can be a lifesaver if you are short for cash. Making monthly payments won't be such a burden on you. You can offer them a down payment to show that you're operating in good faith and propose a payment schedule that actually works for your particular budget. Ask for the lien to be released once you've made a certain number of payments, even if the debt isn't fully cleared. They may do it, they may not, but it doesn't hurt to ask. Now, the next two things that I'm going to tell you, I want to make an announcement and I want to make a disclaimer. I do not recommend and I do not support these following two options that I'm going to share with you right now. However, for the sake of this video and for the sake of providing you the knowledge that you want to have, I'm going to tell you about them as well. However, I am going to put a disclaimer that I am not an attorney, I am not a CPA, I am not a financial advisor, I am a licensed real estate broker, and this video is specifically in relation to helping you understand what kind of liens can be put on your house and how to get rid of them. Okay, now since we got through the disclosure, the next thing that you could do is, if you have equity in your house, you can refinance your loan or you can even apply for a home equity line of credit so you can use that equity to pay off the liens. Refinancing your mortgage or applying for a home equity line of credit will give you the cash that you need to clear the lien completely. This is not going to work for everyone, especially if the lien is massive. But if you build up equity, this could be your ticket to freedom. Again, I do not support this at all. I'll tell you why, because back in 2007 and 8, many people found their houses to be in foreclosure because they refinanced and they paid off their debts only later to find out that their mortgage payments were increased and they weren't able to afford it and they lost their houses. I don't want you to go through this. That's why I'm saying this is an option, but I do not recommend this option at all. Unless you are faced with foreclosure and you have to choose between using your equity to pay off the lien or lose your house completely to a foreclosure. Only then you might want to evaluate this option carefully. Okay, and now the next thing that I want to tell you that exists is the bankruptcy, which I again don't recommend ever, ever, ever. No one likes the idea of bankruptcy, but in some cases, it's your best option. Filing for chapter seven or chapter 13 can wipe out certain types of liens, not all. So you will want to talk to a lawyer before heading down this path. It's a heavy move, my friend, so actually, I would talk to multiple, many, many lawyers before deciding whether or not this is a good move. Some people got really bad advice and give bad advice out there, particularly around bankruptcy. If your lien is related to unsecured debt like credit cards and medical bills, I would try to negotiate with them. 
However, if we're dealing with tax liens and mortgage related liens, these are trickier. So always consult with a financial advisor, a bankruptcy attorney, and even a realtor. Now you might be asking, how long does it take to remove a lien or what if you can't reach a creditor? So here's what you need to know. Removing the lien can take anywhere from like a few weeks to several months, depending on the type and how quickly you act, right? And if you can't reach the creditor, try using a third party mediator or in some cases, consult an attorney who specializes in debt settlement. Listen, these liens, once they're there, they don't go away on their own. The longer they sit on your property, the bigger the problem becomes. And the sooner you act, the sooner you can remove the lien and get your life back, whether you decide to negotiate or even refinance, but it's time to take action and it's time to take action now. So wondering what happens if liens lead to foreclosure do you get any money out of it the answer may surprise you click on the next video do you get any money if your house is foreclosed and i'll break it all down you don't want to miss it my name is Esfir Popolevsky, a realtor with supreme home sales thank you so much for chatting with me today and i can't wait to see you in the next video